Hello there and welcome back to the Chaps Guide, the channel where we're on a journey of discovery in the topics of men's style, self-development and personal grooming. And today, well, I want to talk about the fact that we sadly live in an era of continual decline when it comes to the standard of men's attire and dressing well. And one area where this is patently visible for me is in the area of hats, what people wear on their heads. I mean, if you looked across the world today, or typically in the Western world, I think you would see the most worn hat or head covering would be the eponymous baseball cap. You know, something which really is the epitome of the degradation of men's dress standards. However, if you look back to the first half of the 20th century and probably any time before that and seeked out a photograph or an image of a group of men gathered together, I'm pretty sure you will find the vast majority of them will be wearing some form of hat or head covering, either related to their job or just for social purposes, because people tended to be that much better dressed in bygone eras. And even in the modern era, if you look at men who wear hats outside of the baseball cap, I think you'll find that the majority are perhaps gentlemen of an older generation who've been influenced by those bygone eras and the dressing standards which they grew up witnessing for themselves. Now, I've made a previous video uh, extolling the virtues and the positive benefits of wearing a hat, and I will leave a link to that in the description box below if you want to catch up on that. But I think in this modern era, one of the, the greatest values of wearing a hat is the fact that it provides for the wearer a platform for him to demonstrate to the world his individuality, his taste and his class for others very capably to see. And also, of course, it's highly practical. I'm making this video in the winter time, and as a gentleman with perhaps not much on the hair front, the wearing, the addition of a hat can really help keep the body warm and retain heat for much longer, as well as cutting a dash. Now, I think many men would wear a hat today. I think many chaps see the virtues of wearing a hat, but they are a little bit intimidated because it's such an obvious addition to your clothing. It's exceptionally visible by everybody you meet, and it can be really overwhelming, perhaps, if you want to get into wearing, you know, a classic gentleman's hat. And I, I fully understand that, you know, a trilby, a fedora, and even the bowler hat can seem like a throwback to a bygone era. And and it would take quite a leap of confidence to add something like that to your collection. But for me, there is one hat which stands out from all the others as perhaps an excellent start into the hat wearing world. And that is the hat which I've selected to talk to you about today. You know what it is, you've seen the thumbnail. It is of course the flat cap. Now, if you watch my channel for any length of time and you see me in the outdoors exceptionally regularly, you'll always see me generally wearing a flat cap because it's my go-to hat of choice for a whole number of reasons which we'll talk about here today. Now, before I add anything to my wardrobe and start wearing it regularly, I, I like to understand more about where it sits in, in the sort of style pantheon of men's clothing. And certainly the flat cap for me is something which I looked into and its origin story is quite interesting. First of all, you've got to understand it's called different things in different places. Now, here in England, we tend to call it the flat cap. If you're from Scotland, you might call it a bunnet. In Ireland, you might call it a paddy cap, or if you're from my country of birth, Wales, it's almost universally referred to as the die cap. And they came into popular wearing as a result of a bizarre act of parliament from 1571, which was really enacted to stimulate domestic uh, wool consumption and, and the use of textiles. And it's a, a strange law which said that all males over the age of six had to wear some form of woolen hat or cap every Sunday and to fail to do so, they would face a fine. Now, nobility were exempt from this law, and as a consequence, the wearing of these sort of hats, caps, flat caps, die caps, bunnets, whatever you call them, uh, became very closely associated with the working classes, the proletariat of society. Uh, and I think it still sits in that place today. The flat cap is often considered, you know, the required wearing of people who work in certain professions, 
um, certain businesses and yeah th that's still evident um, particularly in foodstuffs and things like that and various other apprentices positions you'll also see people wearing the flat cap I think you'll find that the flat cap is probably the most worn hat in the Western world today other than that baseball cap we've talked about. You know, it's often seen on the heads of some of the people we consider to be the best dressed men, the best celebrities in the modern era, and there are some very good reasons for it. Um, for me, I've always favoured the flat cap because it does a great job of straddling the line between formal and casual very well. You know, you can wear um, a solid coloured flat cap quite easily with an overcoat in the winter time, keeps your head lovely and warm and doesn't look you know, out of proportion with the style level of an overcoat or even a suit. And it's equally as easily worn, if not more so I think, in the outdoors you know, worn with a utility jacket, like a barber jacket or an outdoor garment. Uh, it just seems to look effortless, regardless of what you wear it with. One of the real big plus points with the flat cap is its practicality. I mean, it's something, there's very few hats that you can squeeze up into a bundle, shove it in your pocket, it can be there for a week, you can get it out and it's ready to be worn instantaneously. There's no worries about creasing it, about damaging it, about causing any impairments to its shape. It is just a hat which can be thrown into a bag, wedged into a pocket, you know, shoved in the glove compartment for the time that you need it and it's ready to wear anytime you need some reason to put it on your head. Now when it comes to the traditional construction of a flat cap you'll find two different general types. You'll see this type here which is made of just a few panels and then you'll get the multi-paneled uh, hat which is often referred to as the newsboy cap. I tend to prefer the flat cap because it's a little bit more streamlined and easy to wear in more versatile situations. Now for me when it comes to the the construction, the components, I like two general types and I think this is what I would advise anybody to go with if thinking about wearing or buying a flat cap for the first time. Stick to simple colours, so tweed is very um, traditional. I like tweed, I've got a couple of tweed caps here. Now tweed uh, goes so well with many colours because many colours can be present within tweed. Uh, it's a good, durable, tough fabric as well uh, with, you know, obviously a lining generally inside. It makes a hat that can be worn, this sort of hat here and a nice neutral tweed can be worn with so many different other colours of clothing. Heading towards the more formal end of flat cap wearing, you know, a woolen cap like this one, this is a cap by a company called Kangol, very well known company, but this is one which I kind of reserve for a little bit more formal uh, wearing perhaps with an overcoat. Again, really practical, lovely and warm because of the wool construction and difficult to get wrong when you're wearing this with anything at all. Now, you know, I would steer clear of perhaps bright coloured caps because it's very difficult to pair them really well with other clothing. Um, similarly, you know, materials such as cotton, leather, corduroy, they don't have that level of versatility and they certainly have connotations with other activities in life. So perhaps a black leather um, flat cap very much says something about the owner more so than a black woolen one and the black woolen one can be worn in much more versatile situations. So think carefully about the colours that you choose, go for muted colours that can be worn with the vast array of clothing you already have in your wardrobe. Now etiquette wise there's not much you need to know when it comes to the wearing of a flat cap. Uh, just a few simple things like you know if you're going to wear a tweed cap make sure you don't wear something which is totally contrasting to if you're wearing a tweed jacket. Uh, it's perfectly acceptable to wear a hat which perfectly matches so made from the same tweed as the other clothing you're wearing but um, you know just be careful of the clashing again with the colours. It can look a little bit too tweed heavy um, and the only other thing I would say is well a lot of caps the construction some will have the ability to be unsnapped from the brim let me show you this is one here so the brim can be snapped and unsnapped there's only a little uh, little clipper button on there never wear your flat cap with it unsnapped now this traditionally has been worn perhaps by women with this styling but for no other reason, it makes you look like a right burk. 
So I would stick to your flat cap being properly cinched up and buttoned up if it has the ability to be opened at all. And you will certainly cut a dash when it comes to the wearing of your flat cap. So in summary, let's just think about our good friend, the flat cap. So whether you're like me and you really enjoy wearing one of these for practical purposes in the outdoors to keep your noggin warm and dry uh, and also an interesting addition to your wardrobe which allows you to bring a bit of your personality into the clothing that you wear or whether you're looking to get into more traditional men's hats and you're looking for a gateway drug and the flat cap is that place to begin highly practical highly wearable in a number of different situations inexpensive you can own many without breaking the bank and it'll certainly bring a little sprinkle of style to your wardrobe without costing the earth so there we go give one a try today now I hope you've enjoyed this conversation we've had today on the flat clap if you have I would encourage you to give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the chaps guide channel as well so you don't miss any of our future material and don't hesitate to leave me a comment in the comment section below if you have any thoughts or questions about men's style, self-development and personal grooming. I really look forward to hearing from you and I'll see you again looking sharp in your hat very soon. Until then, take care.